Hi everyone, it's Suzette from Suzette's Craft Studio. Uh, today I'm here, I'm going to do a flip through of my most recent journal. It is a lemon or lemonade themed journal. As you can see, it's nice and bright and lots of yellow and lemons in here. So here's the front. I've got some lemon paper in the background and then this cute little lemon stand seen on the front, which I loved. I've got this held together with this ribbon um, closure. You just tie in a bow, obviously. And then here's the front inside. We've got a little pocket here. And then these cute little, I'm calling this maybe a drink recipe card. And then a little postcard. And then some extra paper for you to decorate further with. And then on here, I love these cute little pockets. So there's two pockets here. We've got these journaling cards with these little buttons and again, matching ribbon. And then in on top of the pocket, we have another pocket that holds cute little tickets in each. This one has a little lemon tag. So they're all really cute. And then here's some lemon paper. I've got a little flap right here. So in this flap, again, more of those postcards. And then you can see it's kind of a zigzag pockets. And then on this side, again, more, more pockets. And this is, a, I made a little ticket, a pocket out of that little ticket with this little jar of lemons and another postcard. Coffee dyed paper. You'll see in here that there's lots of writing area. This was from an old recipe, some lemon uh, recipes here. And then here we've got a large pocket with this journaling card. Everything on this is glued in. Look at that cute little gnome, isn't that cute? Actual lined lemon writing paper. And then here, have um, this envelope that's being held on this page with an invisible paper clip. I have a tutorial on how to make these. This one I just added a little yellow ribbon and a button on it. And then here is the actual envelope. Just added a stamp. And then here's this side. Open it up and you've got this large journaling card. I've had some coffee dyed and, and yellow splattered paper there in the back. You can see some old accounting paper. Here's my normal, I usually have this in all the journals, a four slot pocket. I do have a tutorial on how to make this as well. All these links for these tutorials will be in this video in the description. But here's these two journaling cards. And when I say four slot, one, whoops, two, three, four. It's really easy. It's one piece of paper, pretty much folded in half and a couple of other folds. They're really super simple to make. Obviously, you saw me take this ticket out of another little front pocket I've made. And then here, um, Here's the first, the middle of the first signature. I've left the strings long on each signature in case you want to add a dangle or a charm or something on the bottom. If you don't, you can just cut them, cut them as short, you know, wherever you want them. I'd cut them, I'd leave them about an inch or so and cut them there. And then here we have these cute little, um, these are little pockets that they have lace and layered paper and they're two little yellow fairies. Um, and then they hold these two tags in there. And then on this side, we have this side tuck with this journaling card. I've added some stamping to it, aged it a little bit. And then here we have a corner pocket. Again, another little drink recipe card. Obviously you could write on both the front and the back. And then here we've got a little um, pocket in the back of this paper. I'll show you this, pull this out in just a minute. This is a book tag. You could use it, um, cut it a little bit shorter and use it as a belly band. 
You could use it as a little side tuck, glue it to the side, lots of different uses for that. And then here, I just added this little tab so you can easily pull this out right on this side and on the back. And then obviously on this side, I've added a little pocket with this tag in there. And with all the pockets, you could always add more little, a little label there and add a favorite word or a saying or another little mini pocket. And then some actual lined, more lined lemon paper. Here's the other side of that pocket. And then this matching journaling card, slightly different items, but matching paper. Pretty. I like these graphics. This is a compilation of several different. I, I collect um, or buy a lot of digitals. <laughs> um, here is a pocket and it has this journaling card. I just added these two little papers to see so you can see that there is a pocket there. That kind of reminds me of a little drink and a little fat straw in there. Um, back to the journals. I probably have over uh, 5,000 pages to admit that but I buy it. <laughs> I'm addicted to uh, people making uh, digitals they're just so pretty and people are so artistic on this one it's the same picture as the front I've just made it a little flap here so um, here is that you could add a writing space add a little pocket um, add paper like a little notepad here and then again another lemon recipe so I just added it with washi tape you could remove it and put it somewhere else if you wanted to and then this is my collaged paper, and then um, I scan them. If you guys have, want to reuse, if you do collaging, just scan them and reuse them. Look at how pretty that is, but it happened to be yellow and the lemon in there, so I thought it was perfect for this journal. Um, and then here's more coffee dyed paper. Obviously, you could write on that side, but I added some little buttons for another little spot to hold more paper. And then here's three pockets on this page with this little card or tag and this guy. Here's a little shorter one. Tags get smaller as you go down. And then I've just added a little stamp here and it says lead the lead the way. And that behind the lead the way is some ribbon, some white ribbon. And then here's a very large pocket. And I've added this little tag. So this is, these two are um, held together with an eyelet. Again, you could write on the back. And then I just added some more of that note paper. I like it sticking out like that. Coffee dyed paper. Again, you could write right over these if you use like a, a blue pen or a different colored pen. It looks kind of cool. You see it. The different layers of writing. Again, more writing paper. There's still pages you could always add a little pocket, a little corner pocket, or if you don't want to hide everything, maybe a little corner tuck pocket up here. You can add even a little pocket here so you're still seeing all of this. And then here is um, belly bands. I've got one horizontal, one vertical that hold. You can see again where those little round buttons and they hold these large journaling cards. Angel's Beauty and there's a little bit of yellow lace behind each one. Again, the strings are left long if you want to cut them. Feel free. And then here's that upper corner little pocket oops lots of lemon pages for you to write on a lot of different styles and the back side of that pocket slightly different graphics on the tags but they match the paper matches here's a little um side vertical pocket 
and with this cute little lemon jar and then I've added some flowers sticking out of it and then here I've made a little side pocket with those tickets in it and again more of the more of the paper writing little paper I've just tucked in there the back side of that collaged paper I did and then here's a little flap too and here I made this a little pocket with this tag and I've added this paper like a little mini booklet And you could add another pocket, either way, a little belly band. And then here is an actual envelope pocket, I guess. Um, this pretty picture of the bowl of lemons with this large journaling card. You could fit probably two or three more different items in there. You can, you can it expands pretty far. And then I just have this string with a little bead on the bottom so it's easy to grab and then this flips I have this kind of on a little flap and then here on the back we have again another pocket and I've just added some extra paper for you and then here is a back pocket as well with some more of the paper and then here's the back there's the spine we're back to the front if you like this please click on the thumbs up so that i know that you like it and this the link to this will be um in the description where it's for sale in my etsy shop thanks so much Bye bye